It's still Super Booth here in Berlin, and I'm standing here on the Mordax booth together with Taylor. Hi, Taylor. How are you doing? Doing well. Yeah. You got some uh, very interesting module there. I mean, it's it's very graphic. It's got a a big yeah. display. What is it? So it's a multifunction module. Um, yeah, we originally kind of built as an oscilloscope, yeah. and so we, we have that running here. We just added a uh, XY display to that as well. Uh, four channel oscilloscope works just like your bench scope would. You have control over your scale position. You can throw a capacitor in line and get AC DC coupling uh, switching there. Um, I'm going to trigger off of any of the yeah. four channels. You have a cursor, so you can actually do measurement, time scale, obviously. You can stop and start the, the display. Um, you have the four inputs here. Right below it, you have uh, four buffered outputs. Mm -hmm. So you're not not getting any voltage drop, so you could be running an yeah. oscillator and okay. not have to worry about any of that. So uh, this alone would, would make it a great module. Yeah. But it has it even has, more features. Yeah, we decided to add a bunch of other things. So we have some more analysis tools. Uh, we have the spectral analyzer. You can go through the channels here. You have filtering, so you can change your window type, so you can get a little finer, yeah. finer peaks. Um, but wait, we, there's more. So, yes, in yeah. the in the <laughs> same vein, we have the the spectral uh, spectrograph, huh? so you can view that the spectrum over time. Mm -hmm. We have a tuner. Very accurate. We actually have a normalized feature uh, as well, so you can use non-modular signals in there as well. We've taken a crystal mic and recorded, or had our voice going through there, and it tracks. Okay. Um, and we have the voltage monitor as our other um, analysis tool. <laughs> it's more based for uh, s slower signals and DC signals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, right now, it's kind of going a little bit crazy with the audio rate, but. We have uh, at the bottom of this like a little performance feature. So we have uh, we can send out DC voltages from the four outputs from this window. We can set those voltages here, or we can set them in momentary or uh, latched gates. And so you can you know send it to say your reverb module and turn your reverb on halfway through a track or something like that. Yeah. Um, but then beyond analysis, it also uh, produces signals. So on this, on these two modules over here, we have the uh, dual digital oscillator, or the waveform output uh, mode. So we have two, uh, you know, pretty basic um, uh, waveforms in there: um, sine, triangle, square, saw. Um, and then we have two modes as far as selecting frequency. We have frequency mode or note mode, so you can go through that way and. Uh, uh, decimal hertz too. You can get it down to really slow LFOs. Yeah. Which is really helpful for that. Uh, you have control over your phase, your amplitude, and your offset, which can be really useful. So you're not attenuating down the line. You can set just the right levels for for what you want to be modulating. Um, we so just you you covered basically any function you you would think mo of. Most most of them. There's no filtering in here yeah. or anything. <laughs> uh, yeah. We also we just added a triple wave folding mode as well, which is. You can kind of see creep yeah. it up on this guy, yeah. which is which is real fun. And the, <laughs> so we have we have the yeah the fold mode or the clip mode. So say we're in, on this guy here, we can take the I'll bring it up here too because it's cool to look at. Uh, we can actually go to 200% here and start clipping these waves so we can get trapezoids and things like this. All oh, right. Um, and then one last feature, um, in case there's not enough already, we have the uh, the uh, clock generator as well. Oh. So yeah. uh, right now it's a yeah it's a dual clock generator. It can act as a as a master clock or it can uh, sync to an external clock. Um, you have uh, division multiplication factors here. Uh, let me. Show you how this kind of works too, because you get a visual, visual yeah. representation of these divisions, <laughs> which can be helpful. Oh. Um, and you have offset as well, so you can get you know off beats and and all that. Uh, those are both CV controllable as well. Um, wow. so, so yeah, it's a it's a real powerhouse actually, yeah. and um, I'm pretty impressed by that. Oh, thank you very much. And, um, yeah. 
Yeah, and it's available now? It's available now. We just uh, shipped our first retail run. All right. Uh, we're, we still have a couple more to get out, so we'll have a, a few more stores getting stocked in the next, yeah. in the next uh, and, few uh, weeks, something like this. And should be soon on Music Store, of course. Yeah, yeah definitely. Right. Yeah. Okay, so check this out. Check out this module and yeah, uh, see you in the next video of Superbooth. Thanks a lot. Yeah, of course.